Hello students, I hope you are doing well. As I have promised with you that I will upload some other videos on numerical methods and how to solve the problems based on numerical analysis using the various methods with the help of calculator. So students, today I am with another problem with another method and Today I will discuss the iteration method. Iteration method. Iteration method is easiest to use actually. The main thing is to, is that to find out the phi x. Phi x, which should be the suitable for convergence. Actually, corresponding to every function f of x equals to zero, uh, we can find uh, many uh, phi of x more than one phi of x because we can, uh, a function f of x can be rewritten as x equals to phi of x and such phi of x may be more than one so which one is suitable to work actually we need to find out this uh, this is the main point which phi of x will be suitable to work for us so for example uh, if you will see my previous videos, I have explained this point very uh, in very depth. So please go through my these videos which phi x will be suitable. So I am writing here a simple condition. We will check out first derivative of the phi of x and this modulus of this should be less than 1. For maximum, for all the values f x belongs to some interval i or for complete real line okay so if i see uh, in the questions find the real root of the equation 2x equals to cos x plus 3 correct to three decimal places so it is our question and now we start the solution here we rewrite the equation in the form x equals to 1 by 2 cos x plus 3 and we consider it as phi of x okay so uh, phi of x is deduced from this equation okay now how we will start the work work is quite simple actually first we will check out uh, the phi of x first derivative of x is less than g less than 1 or not so what do we mean by the first derivative uh, 1 by 2 is the constant and sin x derivative is uh, cos x derivative is minus sin x minus sin x and the plus 3 derivative is 0 so modulus of first derivative of x is equals to 1 by 2 modulus of sin x so we know that this value will be always less than 1 because the modulus of sine of x is always less than equals to 1. The maximum value of sine of x is 1. So, and it is divided by 2 also. So, it, this value will remain always less than 1 for all the value of x uh, uh, over the line, real line. So, here to initialize our method, we can choose any initial approximation. For example, 1.5 we can choose 1.5 x not we can choose 1.6 x not we can choose any number actually any number which you want because this hold for all x belongs to real lines this uh, the, the derivative of the phi of x will be always less than 1 for all x belongs to real numbers so we can choose any real number to initialize our method so how the work is quite simple actually uh, you need to form a table here the iteration will run number of iteration and here uh, the formula will run xn plus 1 equals to phi of xn that's it nothing else we need to process this repeatedly so first we will find the first approximation actually how to operate the operator we need to learn it so first what we will do we will on our uh, our calculator so what what about the phi of x 
it is our 5 of x 1 by 2 cos x plus 3 so first you will type it 0.5 1 by 2 means 0.5 now bracket is start and cos okay uh, before doing it we need to change the mode of this because the many students queried me that is uh, we, we are facing some problem and uh, we are facing many problems actually uh, we are not getting the correct answer because we are using this function and uh, we are not finding the desired answer and it is why what is happening here actually uh, then I notice one thing actually they are not doing the mode uh, they are using the trigonometric function and working in degree mode so if you are using the trigonometric functions so work uh, do work in radian mode so press 2 for the radian mode now start working 0 0.5 uh, cos alpha x then plus 3 and then close the bracket now press equal to store this function now we press equal to store this function actually uh, it is calculating some value this value is due to the stored value of x actually we have uh, there is all the calculator already stored any other values of x so we do, we uh, we don't have any uh, problem with this value now we will start our initial with the initial approximation so what about our initial approximation our initial approximation for example we are taking 1.5 shift store in x now and then we will go to the function then we will go to the function and we will press equal so our uh, uh, our initial approximation was 1.5 and with the help of this we find the new approximate value 1.5353686601 then again we will store this value shift store in x so it is automatically is giving you the new one value uh, we store this value in x and then we will press equal so we will get the new one value in the second iteration that is 1.517710158 and then we will store this value in again in shift store in x and then we will press equal and then we will find the new n value 1.52212 so in the third iteration we will find 1.52212 then again shift store the value this value in x and then press equal then we will find the new iteration 1.5232693 then again we will store this value in x and then we will get the new one value uh, 1.5235016366 then we will again shift store this value in x and then we will find the new approximation 1.5235716 then we will again store this value in x and then we will find the new one value 1.5235872 and we will see here then this these digits are repeatedly coming it means that we have corrected the four decimal places so what about our question correct to three decimal places so we are we have worked correct to four decimal places so we should stop here actually we will do work as per the requirement of the questions so the number of iterations will depend the question asked actually what is the question uh, asking uh, do uh, the work according to that so uh, we need to, uh, we need to find out the uh, correct three decimal places so here we find out the correct four decimal places so we should stop here so it was the iteration method i hope you would like this video 
and if there are some corrections some suggestion then you comment me in the comment box and you have if you have some doubts so you can me comments in the comment box so give me the suggestions and please like comment and share these videos and subscribe to this channel to get the further updates thank you so much see you in the next class and next lecture with the, some other beautiful topics